Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O oh Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Hallelujah. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O oh Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Hallelujah. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O oh Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Hallelujah. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Matthew 5, 8. Early in Christian history, John Chrysostom, Patriarch of Constantinople, taught prayer not made of words, but rather of a longing for God too deep for words. Gregory the Great, theologian and Pope, described contemplative prayer as resting in the knowledge and love of God. Gregory of Sinai, a monk who lived in the middle of the 14th century, taught contemplative prayer as abiding in God, praying from the heart, and refraining from thought. This pure prayer is done in silence. Gregory advocated the use of the Jesus prayer as a way of remaining patient in prayer and being free from wandering thoughts. Gregory said, you cannot drive away thoughts, but God can. The thoughts will flee when you call on the Lord Jesus. Also in the 14th century, an English monk wrote a book of instruction on prayer called The Cloud of Unknowing. He instructed his disciples to lift up your heart to God with a humble impulse of love. We pray, he wrote, in the love of Jesus. We let go of intellectual ideas and imaginings to love God in a cloud of unknowing. We dismiss thoughts about things past, present, or future to a cloud of forgetting beneath us.
The purpose of prayer, according to John Calvin, is that our hearts may be fired with a zealous and burning desire ever to seek love and serve God. In prayer, Calvin wrote in his catechism in 1538, we descend into the innermost recesses of our hearts and from that place, not from the throat and tongue, call God. True prayer ought to be nothing else but a pure affection of our hearts. At this time, we will enter into a time of silence.
When we become fully centered, our lives revolve around God and not ourselves. We are converted from self-centeredness to God-centeredness. And that also means that Christ dwells at the core of our being. And I pray that this time that we have um, spent in silence and with song today was a blessing to you. I'd like to leave you with a song called Forever You Lead. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye. Wherever you lead is where I will go. I'm following you. I'm walking this road to mountains so steep or valleys so low. Wherever you lead. Sometimes I go fast, sometimes I go slow, wherever you lead, that's where I will go, I'm gonna walk on, wherever you lead, I'm gonna walk on, cause you're all I need, I'm gonna walk on, just show me the way. I'm gonna walk home with you every day. Jesus, you walk that road to the cross. You loved us enough to suffer that long. Because of your love, you stayed on that road. Sisters and brothers walking with me walking with me together we'll walk sharing the love sharing the love wherever you lead that's where we will go we're gonna walk Show us the way, we're gonna walk on.